In today's episode, I will explain to you how to play default attack on the new bind version. Welcome to Lotus Lab. We are talking today about bind. We have the new version of it and it's already included on Valve Plan. So I'm going to explain how to play default attack on attack because it's going to be so crucial to play ranked and if you don't know what defaulting is there's a video and i will link it in the description as well that explains the concept of attacking default which means that you basically have one player on each lane with some concepts and if you want to understand what those yellow zones and red zones will mean on other maps as well please watch that video first because i'm, I'm gonna skip through some stuff because i assume you already watched the other video so now, when it comes to bind, the construction of bind is a little bit different than other maps. When you compare it to the simplest, uh, absolutely simplest map in the game, which is Ascend, you're going to see how much of a difference that is. This is Ascend right here. The default on Ascend just revolves around taking early control on, uh, on all three lanes, because mid is just so open, then you can hold extremities, and that's essentially it, right? With bind... Holding mid control is almost impossible because the red zones indicate like already where you can be typically shot at if you're pushing first, right? So if you're also in this position on short, the player defending on side will have the vision on you. Remember, there's a box now over here that allows players to also see short. So it's very dangerous to even go into short. So on bind, when you play ranked, it's much more important to treat the lanes that are long B and showers with priority than order than others because you never want to go with an actual execute through hookah you never want to go with a uh, spike into hookah because it's so hard to retrieve that's why i'm not even considering it to be a zone that you want to play with a default so if you're defaulting players on Kuka and on short should be the players that are like just defaulty holding angles and being patient while the the lane that has two players will be gathering info and that is going to be either belong or showers and you want to gather this control because that's something that you will be able to get with two players uh, specifically also when you have an initiator right so when you play this map i would advise to make a 2 1 1 1 split for defaulting or 1 1 1 2 split right so how to how to understand this that means that one player holds oh that's an arrow one player holds b long one player holds hookah one player holds um holds short and then two players are actively working to get into the red zone and control it get the orb control and so on now why i also when we're talking about showers, why is there an arrow over here? The arrow will, is indicating a change of how bind is actually going to be played because taking shower control was going to be a little bit more dangerous than it was before. The TP before was in this area over here where the two is being played, uh, written. So someone who is playing actively from garden is able to use the utility to help the player in showers to negate the control which is something that you need to think about. And that's why holding passively on B long for informations, it's also very important because the player from Garden is going to be a little bit more careful when he knows that there's someone on B long as well. So this map, when you are playing in solo queue, right? And you try to like transfer this idea of playing default on this map, it's going to be heavily misunderstood. Like, there's absolutely no way that people will know how to play this map properly. This is why also Bind was not understood well and, let's say, received well in the Valorant community because it requires a little bit of knowledge how to play it efficiently. And I have no solution for that, by the way, because I just hope that people will watch those videos and maybe learn it sometime. But if you are trying to IGL in ranked, try to put effort into explaining that the majority of your forces should go to the extremities on the map. So you want to go into the left side, you want to go into the right side. And when you're playing default, remember also that zones that you are never, you never want to touch are the ones that are already like doing an execute. If you're in a hookah, that's essentially already an execute because you're so coming, coming so close 
to the defenders, right? Being on short over here in this area, it's also written in execute. And when you're trying to play uh, a default on attack, the goal of playing that those that formation is to gather informations where someone is playing, getting some utility out, out of the defenders by doing some pressure. So you want to utilize mostly your utility that is on cooldowns. Right? That's why it's so important, like agents, when it comes to initiator, agents like Sky, agents like um, agents like Sova, oh, that's very small. Ooh, that's what she said. Here we go. Agents like Sky is very important. Agent like Fade is also going to be fantastic. Specifically, also, those two will be most big on, on rank right now, in my eyes, because race... It's not really that good anymore to take hooker control. You're not you're not able to get hooker control unless you're playing in this area. So hooker is going to be very dangerous, right? So those two agents are going to be very important to gather that early information in both extremities. I would still not advise to go into hooker at all. And then you just go with executes from long B, or execute from showers or short, and then the, the lurker goes from the other side, right? So, um, yeah, I hope this helps, my friends. Just remember, watch the other default materials because there's there's a concept in all of those explanations that I would say will be helpful to this bind video as well. Just wanted to introduce you to a new, maybe hopefully, new concept that you can learn from uh, with this new map. Remember, never go into hookah with a spike and also on this topic by the way when you're playing a defender right just wanted to mention this when you are a defender from a i'll give you an uh i will give you an example let's say the opponents are doing an execute from um from uh from b right so that like for example three players going through long and one player going for doesn't matter which roles right but two players going from hookah and if, when they do an execute like this, but they are not committed to the site yet, and then a defender TPs from A to B, that gives an information to the players to rotate through the TP. And that is one of the worst moves that you can do on defense on bind here, because it's a clear information that you just hard rotated off site. And typically, you have three players on a side and that one player leaving that side opens up the space for the lurker on showers on the lurker on short and it's going to be very tough to defend this side with this hard rotation happening on here because you can also be stuck right for example let's say this is going to be an actual game three players from long do pressure use some um stuff on on site the omen tps to be and now those three players use the tp they go onto, onto showers already. It's very close, by the way. Remember, the change of the position of the TP is literally like two seconds. Two seconds shorter and you're going to be faster on A side. Like, it's crazy buff for attackers when it comes to the rotation from B to A. And now this player will probably just go into short while this one is just going to stay here for this omen. So you're essentially screwed from this position and you opened... Uh, uh the entire a side for an execute and remember when it comes to valuing players on defense and attack if one player holds another player in this position till the skill is alive the omen counts as dead because the concept is when you are just holding one player one for one he's essentially dead and cannot really help the team right so and when attackers have killed one player that gives them an advantage because the map stays the same size, but there's le there are less defenders to actually defend the site. So I hope, hope I helped a little bit. Sorry for the very quick video with no script at all. Um, but yeah, tomorrow's bind. So I wanted to introduce this concept to a little bit of people that are watching the Lotus Lab. Thank you very much for watching and see you guys with the next episode. Bye bye.